and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel in the first place, Stowy of a Shinzo X listener. Link will be in the description for the fanfic, and let's go ahead and get into it. You were never particularly interested in dating or crushes, often sticking to platonic relationships instead. Friendship was what mattered most to you more than anything, so when Hitoshi Shinzo joined Class 1A a few months ago, let's just say you were given a run for your money. You had never experienced feelings like this, and it made you confused. You slowly started to distance yourself from everyone else and your friends. Not getting the memo, Shinzo thought you hated him. Although you were always watching him, when you realized what you were doing, your face would scowl, making your friends believe that you were envious of him. In reality, you were scolding yourself for getting distracted, trying to focus on the work at hand instead. Although you didn't know it, Shinzo noticed your deep stares and the scowls after you gazed at him. It was a night like any other night, except you hadn't had a very good day. First, you woke up late, having no time to get ready. Then you got commented on by Mineta about you not wearing a uniform properly. You were showing off more than what you normally wore, and you'd already had enough of this bullcrap so you beat the crap out of him. Needless to say, a trip to Miss Counselor and Principal Nezu was in order, although it was nice to have her agree with you on beating the living daylights out of the off-brand grape. After that, some kids who were also in detention accidentally spilled mop water and tea all over you. Finally, the water heat had broken, and no one had told you. So when you turned on the shower, it was ice cold. Todoroki was nice enough to heat it up for you though and you were going to take him out for cold soba as soon as he was available. You sat on the dorm room couch, tired, pissed, and insomnia-filled. It was 3am, and the melatonin you took decided not to kick in at all. You had your cup of your favorite tea, curling yourself into a ball, petting the small kitten that your dear friend Koda gave you to comfort yourself on nights like these, being the only student who knew of your insomnia problems. He had found you one night on the floor of the hallway at 4am, crying silently because of how tired you were, but your body wouldn't let you rest. You went all over the events of that day in your head, eyes getting glassier and glassier. You finally let out all of the emotions that were stuffed inside you from the previous month. Tears poured down your cheeks, small sobs escaping the back of your throat. Wrapping your arms around the kitten, you embraced it, letting it help ease your emotions out. You sat there crying for a while, ranting quietly to yourself. That was until you heard footsteps coming from the stairs. You swiftly made yourself look asleep, to hide the fact that you were awake. The steps came closer, and eventually you felt a person sit next to you. You can't hide the fact that you're awake. I heard you crying from upstairs, although it was very faint. You recognized the voice. It was a certain tired-eyed boy. Your face immediately turned bright red. You opened your eyes to see Shinso sitting in his cat-themed pajamas right next to you, face lit up only by the string lights he used to decorate this room. Oh, I hoped it was Koda so no one else would find me in this messed up state. You mumbled, lifting your head up and resting it on your knees. Are you okay? Shinso asked, a slightly concerned expression covering his face. Um, not really. I have really bad insomnia and, well, let's just say it's been here ever since my quirk has manifested, but melatonin has stopped working recently, so it's been kind of rough. You explained, eyes full of tiredness. You lifted the kitten from your lap, placing it on its bed. You adjusted it to make yourself more comfortable, grabbing your pillow and hugging it. I can help, I suppose, Shinso replied making your head lift up in surprise. I mean, nothing has helped me and I've tried quite a few things. You stared at the boy, waiting for his response. I could use my quirk on you. It's helped my other friends in the past. He sheepishly responded, holding a hand on the back of his neck. Wait, that would be amazing, could you? You questioned, a feeling of paralyzation overcoming your body. You knew this was his quirk, but it didn't stop you from becoming surprised. Come over here, Shinso commanded. Your body moved, but not by your will. 
He took your pillow and put it on his lap before speaking again. Lay down here, grab those blankets, and pull them on yourself. He instructed. You did as you were told, laying down on his lap and resting your head on the pillow. I want you to relax into me. Your body relaxed, then you felt your body being released from the hold, letting you gain control again. As soon as you were released, your face turned a light shade of pink. You glanced up at him as he made eye contact with you. His purplish, glossy eyes locked onto yours and he asked you a question. Why do you hate me? It made you confused. You didn't hate him. In fact, it was quite the opposite. You had had the biggest crush on him. It made you slightly irritated that you were going to confess to him in the tired state you were in, but at the same time, you didn't really care. I don't hate you. Not at all. What makes you think that? He replied, slightly tilting your head to the side. But you're always staring at me, no matter what I'm doing, and afterwards you scowl, like you hate the sight of me, he muttered out, eyes avoiding any contact. And worse is the fact I can't do anything about it. I've tried to figure it out, but your friends don't know either. Well, I guess I'm just an idiot who doesn't know how to express my feelings. <laughs> You laughed at yourself, a hand covering your eyes. And there's a reason I scowl. It's because I catch myself getting distracted by you when I should be focusing. Shinzo's eyes widened, his face contorted in surprise. He shifted underneath you, and you looked down at your hands in your lap, playing with them. Shinzo lifted your chin up to look into his eyes. So you're saying I'm distracting to you? He leaned down. Your faces close together, both turning three shades darker. He looked away first, feeling the tinge of dark red covering your cheeks. Yes, you are very distracting sometimes. Your quirk is really cool and I think you're an amazing person, you quietly said, feeling yourself about to explode. Shinsa looked at you with soft eyes. You have an amazing quirk too, you know. He remarked, remembering the sports festival when you beat Tokoyami with it. Your quirk is third perspective. You can peer into people's pasts and futures, although you have to keep the fact that you can see the future as secrets that way you don't get kidnapped by any villains. You use it to destroy people mentally first, and then physically. Although it's not an honorable way to be a hero, it does work. You often get told that your quirk is villainous. And you think if you weren't as mentally strong as you were, you probably would have joined the League of Villains by now, but you were glad that wasn't the case. The way I use my quirk isn't great, and at least a lot of people view it that way. You murmur, being reminded of your bullying from your days in junior high. Shinzo grimaced, looking away. I get told that too. I was told I would never be able to be a hero with my quirk. Shinzo gave you an empathetic smile. He totally understood how you felt, and you returned that smile. Shinzo gazed into your eyes before you saw his lips part to talk. I'm glad you don't hate me because I really, really like you, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. You were struck by a feeling of surprise. His face had a love-struck expression plastered on it. You turned around to him, sitting facing him instead. You definitely had it all wrong. I really, really like you too. Your head leaned towards his, and Shinzo started to do the same, faces just an inch away from each other. You finally shut your eyes and closed the gap. His hands automatically flew to your waist, holding you steady as you held his face and kissed him. It was a kiss full of chastity. You never thought your insomnia would do anything to ever help you. He held on to your waist, not ever letting go when you two eventually pulled apart. So, I guess we really like each other a lot, huh? Shinzo uttered, a smirk covering his face, and you smirked back just as easily as he did. We have a lot more in common than I thought we did. Can we just stay like this for a while? Shinzo had a flirtatious look on his face. It made you blush, and he nodded. He leaned into his chest and laid down. You were so comfortable there, him holding you firmly, your hair intertwined with his fingers as he rubbed your head. You quickly fell asleep, 
As did he, a small while later. You slept peacefully without anything aiding you for the first time in forever. The kitten came up to you and curled up on your legs. Alright, so that's the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed. Music link, fanfic link, discord link, and thumbnail art link will all be in the description. Go ahead and check those out. Um, I don't have much else to say, so I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, whatever, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!